What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt. <laughs> oh, it's the Jay Roo series, my bad. Uh, you know, rocking my Counterpunch Boxing News T. Shout out to Kurt from Counterpunch Boxing News. But, uh, sorry about the noise in the background. But, um, just wanted to talk about what I thought about the Francis Ngannou Tyson Fury press conference. Uh, it was very interesting, of course, any press conference where you got John Fury in the building is going to be pretty crazy. <laughs> he kind of made it about himself, calling out Mike Tyson, taking his shirt off. And uh, he says after his son beats Ngannou, then he wants to fight Mike Tyson. And it was all, you know, it was kind of playful. It was nothing crazy going on. And Mike Tyson was even laughing at Francis Ngannou was like, yeah, I'm nervous about your dad, but, you know, I'll, I'll beat you, talking to Tyson Fury. And then Tyson Fury got up and was facing Ngannou, and he was telling Ngannou, look, he's fat, he's fat. And Ngannou started laughing, he's like, hey, well, you knocked out people when you were fat. <laughs> and Fury's like, yeah, that's true, and they both laughed it off, but, um, yeah, I'm getting actually kind of hyped about this fight. It'll be, what, in two days? I guess the weigh-in is tomorrow. Tyson Fury says he's going to knock out Francis Ngannou. And I was watching their public workouts, and they just seem to be at two different speeds. I haven't seen Ngannou really go all out. He said he was just kind of playing around. He didn't want to show off, you know, show too much of what he has in his uh, arsenal. So it was just kind of for the media and stuff like that. But the one thing he's got to do, since obviously Tyson Fury is the faster guy, and Gano's got to time him. He's going to have to come in between those fast shots. You see how, like, uh, Tyson Fury's, like, moving and got all that. That's going to mess Gano up so bad. He ain't going to know what to do. And he's just, I think he's going to be throwing wild shots, kind of like Dillian White and missing. And then, actually, Tyson Fury might end up timing him. But, um... Yeah, it's going to be really an uphill battle for Ngano. People have been talking about all the things that Ngano went through just to get to America coming from Cameroon. Some guy said he even ate rats. I was like, oh, I ain't never heard that one, but wow. I'm pretty sure Tyson Fury's got the mindset to do the same. Both guys are strong-minded, but uh, I, <laughs> I was like, no matter what you've been through, that's great as far as heart, but you still got to have a certain amount of skill level, especially when you're fighting a guy like Tyson Fury. But the thing Mike Tyson really liked about Ngannou is he said he saw him sparring and he knocked down a guy that was like 6'9", I think with a body shot, and he said the guy broke his leg when he fell. He's like, I had never seen anything like that. So for Ty Mike Tyson, who's had some gym skirmishes to put it mildly for him to say that then you know he was really impressed by Ngannou for him to knock I don't know the other guy's resume but for him to hit him with a shot and break his leg you know what I'm thinking of don't you when George Foreman was announcing Lennox Lewis versus Michael Grant and Lennox Lewis knocked him down and George Foreman said he broke his leg he broke his leg <laughs> I don't think he broke his leg but it just made me think of that but Mike Tyson was very impressed. He worked with Francis and Ganu, and then after their first day of training, the next day he said, uh, "Are you sore?" He's like, "No, I feel good." Mike Tyson said, "Okay, that's not good." So the next day, yeah, he really put him through it. And then the next day, he's like, "How you feel?" And then he was sore. He's like, "Okay." So Mike Tyson is one of those guys that likes to go all out in the gym, which I've heard him say. It makes sense. You go all out in the gym, then the fight will be easy. If you put more work in the gym, then when fight night will be like a piece of cake, and that makes sense. Why go like half speed in the gym, and then come fight night, you're burned out. And I noticed another thing about Ngannou, besides him being at a different speed than Tyson Fury, he seemed to be a little bit winded when he was doing the public workout. I don't think it was nerves either. He looks to be in great shape. So when Tyson Fury called him fat, I don't I don't know what he was looking at. Maybe he's just trying to be funny because <laughs> I didn't see any fat. But in order for you to fight at that that 
speed of fighting Tyson Fury, and he's getting tired just from hitting the pads. I'm like, oh boy. But uh, like I was saying, that Tyson Fury said he would knock him out in six, and Gano said he's going to reverse it and knock Tyson Fury out in six. So we will see what happens. I don't think Ngannou will beat Tyson Fury, but it will be exciting to see two big guys in the ring. Francis Ngannou listed at 6'4", Tyson Fury listed at 6'9". Doesn't look like that much of a height difference when you see him face to face. But I think Tyson Fury can stop and will stop Ngannou around round five. I think he's uh, just very, he's a hard guy to fight. The movement, the speed, the chin, even I predicted Ngannou will probably knock him down. But, you know, Fury, he'll get up. So I got Fury either in five or six. With maybe a dangerous moment here and there, but I think Ngano's going to realize he's in over his head with all that move. To be so big and see Fury just move around like that, I mean, we've never seen anything like that from a guy that's uh, over 6'5". Emmanuel Stewart used to say when guys get over 6'4", six, 6'5", six, they get kind of um, clumsy. So Tyson Fury doesn't fit that mold. In fact, Emmanuel Stewart predicted Tyson Fury would be champion way back in the day. Greatest trainer ever. He knew what he was talking about. But, um, yeah, that's my prediction. And uh, I look forward to the weigh-in. Just curious to see what both guys weigh. And I'm looking forward to John Fury versus Mike Tyson. And, of course, <laughs> Mike Tyson, if it's not an exhibition, if it's a real fight, you know, uh, Mike Tyson got this, but you know, John Fury says, I fear no man on the planet 100%. 100%. So, you know, the Furies, they, they are all tough. The whole family's tough. I believe John Fury when he says he fears no man. He said, yeah, I don't care what you've done. I don't fear no man. He said, I fear one person, the most high. And I like that mindset. And yeah, shout out to the Furies, very entertaining family, <laughs> and uh, and Gano's got a lot of heart to go in there with Fury, and Fury's got heart to stand in front of a guy that can punch like Ngannou. So, Ngannou's best chance, like I said, is timing, because he's not going to outspeed Fury, that's not happening. So he's going to have to catch him in between shots and not throw wild shots, because then Fury will counter him. Anyway, this is... Uh, the J. Roos Theory, make sure to comment, share, subscribe, LSR forever. Go subscribe to my son's gaming channel, Linux Roos, and be fearless. LSR forever, if I hadn't said that, if I hadn't said that, I think I did. But anyway, be fearless. Be gay.